is August 17th, Wednesday, and it's the night before Christmas. Hmm. I wonder what you're talking about. We'll ruminate on that for a minute. Well, yesterday, um, Heidi, and actually my pants are on fire. It is not. It is not August uh, uh, 17th. We are actually on an airplane right now heading to taping in Dallas. So um, I got to give you a Heidi update. Uh, last yesterday, she got snip snip, so she can't have kittens. And I'm going to now call her Heidi Houdini. All right. They put her in this onesie so that she can't take apart, you know, can't like rip her stitches open and stuff. And um, she got out of it last night. <laughs> we came in this morning. I go, where, where, where's Heidi's clothes for Pete's sake? They're off. She was not happy. All right. But I understand the theory of it. They don't want her to, you know, claw it open and all that. So when she had it off this morning, I said, okay, uh, let's put one of those cones on her. Oh yeah. That lasted for two seconds before she got it off. It was, it was awful. So, so now I had to get this onesie back on her and I love it at the doctor's office. They say, um, well, just take it off when she has to go to the bathroom. <laughs> yeah. Does she like ring a bell or you know what? But anyways, I got her onesie back on her and, um, there is a place for her business to be taken care of. And I don't think anybody cares that it's on backwards. <laughs> hey, I've worn things backwards and we've just survived. Okay. So the night before Christmas, what am I talking about? Well, it's the Birmingham quilt show this weekend. And I have never been there. It is quite extraordinary, I understand. And we were so, I was so lucky that I got to meet up with Anna Batiste. And she's put, she's a coordinator this year and got to do a little interview with her, which by the way, was, I mean, the fact she even gave me any time is amazing because can you imagine putting on a show like this? Uh, you gotta be kidding. And so I have a little recording that we did and um, I want you to take a look-see at it. And if you've ever been before, lucky you, lucky you. So I would like to introduce Anna Batiste, who is in charge of this this year, the uh, Birmingham Festival of Quilts. And she's just absolutely delightful. I, I, I got to get over to this one day. I just, I have to. It just looks too good to be true. So let's take a look-see. Hi, Anne. How are you? I'm very well, thank you. Lovely so I would, I great. So um, I'm talking to Anne Baptiste. I'm saying that right, right? Well, actually, it's Anna Baptiste. Oh, Anna. Okay. Well, we're gonna get that right, um, Anna. And you tell everybody what your job is right now. I don't think any of us want it, but boy, we want to be there. So, what is your job? <laughs> Yeah, none of you want my job right right now. Um, I'm the event director for the Festival of Quilts, which takes place next week at the NEC in Birmingham in England. Well, I have heard so much about this show, and I was so delighted that you took time out of your cray-cray right now to talk to us, because it is really an extraordinary event. And I think for those in the United States, and mind you, we have people all over the world, it's like Houston or Paducah or something like, probably more like Houston, right? Yeah, it's like Houston. I actually had the uh, the privilege of, of visiting Houston for the first time in 2019. And um, so, yeah, it was really interesting co to compare. But, yeah, I think in terms of scale, it's certainly very similar. Um, and I guess in terms of, you know, the, the split between the shopping and the exhibits. You know, I, I never know where people are going to run first. <laughs> You've got the people that want to run and see the quilts and the other ones are like beep, 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 up and down the aisles. Now, um, Anna, is this the first um, one since COVID? It's not actually. So we did manage to get one just over the line last year when we were legally allowed to run events again. Um, it was a much smaller scale show last year because it was the first one out of the door. Um, this year we'll be, you know, we're just getting ourselves back to normal. So we've got about 600 of our competition quilts on display. We've got about 14 um, special exhibits, galleries, plus all of the traders, about 200 traders. Um, yeah, loads going on, lots of interactive features. We have a huge theater, a product stage, 
uh, hundreds of workshops. I want to be there. Things. And when I'm going to show a slide at the end, an image, but when is this exactly? So it opens on Thursday the 18th, mm -hmm. which is next Thursday, mm -hmm. which is rather terrifying. Um, and it runs until Sunday the 21st. Um, doors open at 9.30 every day. Okay. Well, like Houston, I mean, I have not been to this show, so I can only equate it to what I know. We have special exhibits, and then we have the quilts that are on for, you know, competition. What do you call your special exhibits? We call them textile galleries. So we invite a, a number of artists every year to come and show collections of their work. Um, so they're kind of uh, hung in a gal uh, art gallery. For okay. Them. Okay. Um, well, let's so let's take let's take a look at um, uh, some of them so people have an idea. And this has nothing to do with the competition. These are separate venues. So this one is uh, by Jennifer Day. Look at this, everybody. Tell us about her. What you know. So well, this, this piece is from the Sacqua exhibit. I'm sure everybody is uh, for, in the States particularly is familiar with the Studio Art Quilt Associates. Um, you just saved me. It was written here, but I didn't. <laughs> yes, for the Sacqua. Oh. So, and that this year's theme, they have a different theme every year for their um, exhibition. And this year's is Forced to Flee. So it's all about migration, um, which I think is particularly topical mm -hmm. at the moment. So I, I imagine it's going to be quite a moving exhibition. Have you see, have you seen um, some of these quilts or not yet? Not in person. Yeah, not yet. Mm -hmm. So I have that uh, joy to look forward to next week. Oh man. Okay, then here is another one, and this is by Michael Cummings, and it's um, homage homage to Nelson Mandela. What's this exhibit going to be about? So Michael is the leading African American. Uh, quilter is apparently known as the leading African-American quilter uh, in the United States. Mm -hmm. And um, his exhibit is, I think there's 14 different pieces, all very much in this kind of very vibrant style. Um, and I think a lot of them have quite political um, themes. Sure. Uh, is he from New York? He is. He lives in Harlem. We did a field piece on him. He is a very colorful character. Very colorful. Is he coming? His quilt, his quilt reflect that. Yes, yeah. he is coming. I'm really pleased to say. So I'm really excited about looking about meeting him. Ah, and then you snag some quilts from the um, Roderick Kierkoff collection. Yes, this is really exciting. So this exhibit is um, sponsored by Quilt Folk magazine. It was them who kind of approached us um, to put this gallery into the uh, show this year and Roderick had the difficult task of selecting I think it's 16 pieces oh. for this exhibition out of his collection um, but yeah very very exciting to have you know some of those that date back to the 1800s oh, yeah. Um, oh. so yeah very very uh, important historic pieces. Well now I have to ask is he coming? He is. <laughs> Oh, you're so, see, listen, you're going to be like the prom queen once, you know, Thursday. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Yeah, and then um, this is, a. okay, wait a minute. This is, okay, I'm going to mess this up. So, okay, this is Charlie. Here comes the slaughter of the name, okay? Um, Venduca and Oliver Battius. Battes, I think, but okay. like you, I'm not 100% sure of the exact pronunciation. Mm -hmm. So, so these guys are a couple and also run a business together and um, they won our Best in Show, the Handy Quilter Best in Show Award last year at the event and then this year we've invited them back to have this uh, exhibit of all of these pieces um, that were in the same theme as the one that won Best in Show last year. So yeah, it's going to be a very interesting exhibit. You know, um, you sent me, okay, we don't know who's winning right now. We don't know, but you sent me some pictures from last year and the breadth of what is covered by the sponsors are giving prizes. I mean, it was tough to pick, to pick, you know, six, it was tough, but we do have another special exhibit. This is, um, the log cabin by Sarah Hibbert. Fun. Yes, so Sarah Hibbert is a is a British quilter um, whose style is you know sort of modern quilting. So we've got a really good range of different um, styles in our in the within the galleries this year. So it's very exciting. I know you probably don't know this, but I'm going to just throw it out to see. Is this a small piece? 
I don't have a grasp I on this. Know. I don't know what the scale is. I probably have got it somewhere. But yeah, I'm not yeah, sure yeah. I, I thought, sorry, I, I knew I, I was throwing your curve. A lot of her pieces are relatively small. I mean, certainly not miniature, but not mm -hmm. sort of not huge scale. So, um, but I don't know about this particular piece. Well, this piece is lovely. And I love how so many times with the modern quilts, they'll take something that is so in, you know, part of who we are as a community, as quilters, as makers, and then just put that dot in there and just off center it and do the big stitch and <laughs> you got something going on. So, okay, last year, again, it was really hard to pick, um, but I had to show Claudia Files. Um, she won um, Excellence in Long Arm Quilting and it was the great Grace Frame Company paid for it. Claudia has been on the show. Um, have you met her? Do you know I'm, I must have done because I would have given I would have passed on the award to her last year. Um, so yes, I would have I would yeah. have met her, but I don't know if I've ever had a, a, a proper conversation. He's from Germany, right? I believe so. And I believe so. her work is just it takes my breath away. I mean it it takes my breath away. So th this was last year. Don't all get all excited thinking it's this year, people. Uh, and then we have okay. The Hand Quilting Award is by Arafil, and um, this is Jackie Harvey Rose. Now, this looks small. Yes, I believe that is a miniature. Mm-hmm. Wow. Look at those <laughs> stitches. Wow. Okay. And then we have... Um, okay, this Sorry. Is by, that's okay. Juana Castanda. 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 Sorry, guys. This is Juki. Juki gave her, and this is for pictorial. Look at that. You know? That creates a lot of attention, as you can imagine, because it's such an eye catching piece. Yeah, I wonder where um, it's, it's uh, J U A N A. Wana? Is that how you think you would Wana, say it? I think so. I think so. I just gasped when I saw this. It, it's just, it's beautiful. All right. Has, has the judging been done yet? I know at Houston they do it before. No. Yeah, so what happens is the um, the quilts will all be hung on Monday and Tuesday of next week. Uh -huh. And then on Wednesday, the judging happens. So all of the judges turn up and they're all given their own section to judge. So it all happens really fast because by uh, Wednesday evening, we have to have all the winners photographed. They then go into our presentation for the award ceremony on Thursday. So, yeah, it's a slightly manic couple of days with a lot happening, um, but it's all very exciting. Fabulous. Okay, then this is a modern by um, Abigail Sherry. I, I, I got to tell you, the quilting on this, I love straight line. And, man, she's just taken it to a completely, completely different, uh, you know. Okay, so you might know this. I promise you I wouldn't throw you anything you didn't know. What would you say um, the biggest category represented might be this year? I think it's traditional. Okay. Um, that is still a big, you know, I think something like 60, 60 or 65% of our visitors tend to call themselves traditional quilters. Um, but we also get a lot in the contemporary category, art quilts, modern is growing every year. Yeah. So there, there is every, every category is very well represented. Well, guess um, what my last slide is? Traditional. Traditional? Yes. <laughs> um, of course, this is from Japan. Of course, of course it is. And it's Sashiko C-I-B-A. How do you think you say that? Siba? C-I-B-A. Yeah. Yeah, Sashiko. And this is called Flower News. You know, it's unbelievable. I, oh, God. I remember the first time I saw Japanese quilts, and it was actually at the Mancuso show here on the West Coast. And I mean, I thought I was pretty much all that as a quilter. And then I saw those, and I was just humbled. I mean, beautiful, just beautiful. Yeah. We do have we do have quilts that are humbling in that way, but I think it's also important to um, express that our event we we pride ourselves on inclusivity. So actually, we do have you know we have lots of young people who enter, we have schools who enter, we have a complete beginners category. 
you know, we really try to encourage everyone and the quilts are not juried. So unlike Houston, where they are, they're, they're juried in advance of the show. Um, we do have, you know, many quilts that are not quite of that, you know, of that same sure. level. But we love that because it means that everybody gets a chance to show their work and then to improve and, you know, find something to aspire to. So, yeah, I think it's important to say that to encourage, you know, people that that feel you know, intimidated to enter. You know, I can't even imagine. Um, well, I meet people that go, I'm new at quilting. And you're like going, oh, just put your blinders on, enjoy what you're doing and don't look yeah. around because your your mind will get, you know, like that. Um, yeah. So this year, it, it how you're handling it is a little bit different because of COVID. So explain about getting tickets and all that kind of stuff, please. Yeah, so I mean, it's not it's nothing too um, drastic. It's just we have um, time to entry tickets so that um, when people uh, book online, you would you will be asked to choose an entry slot. But it's not the end of the world if you you know a little bit late for that entry slot. Mm -hmm. slot. Um, tickets are available on the website, but there will also be plenty of tickets available on the door. So we encourage everyone to buy now or turn up on the day, whatever suits you better. Um, and they're available on the website, which I think you just showed, festivalofquilts.co.uk. Uh, doors open at 9.30, close at 5.30 each day. And yeah, please come along. We're just really looking forward to seeing everybody again after, you know, what's been a very tough couple of years. Yeah, well, congratulations. And I'm just so grateful you've taken time out. And so everybody knows I'm having my Starbucks and it's time for you to go have a cocktail. <laughs> <laughs> that, it's yeah. that time. I so wish I was there. Um, I, I just wish you the best of luck. And I hope we can get some pictures for the website of the winners and stuff like that. I think you're working with Lilo or somebody is. Absolutely. So just give us a shout when, um, you know, once the award ceremony is done on Thursday, we'll have the folder of images. And of course, we will share them and they will be on our website as well. So, well, anybody who puts this on to me, um, <laughs> It deserves a crown. In fact, I just saw a whole thing on the royal family and all the crowns. You you need to wear one of those crowns. You think they'd lend one to you? Uh, I don't know. I'll have a word with the queen and see if she wants. <laughs> and then one last question, completely off topic. How are you guys surviving the heat? Yeah, as you can see, I'm not wearing many clothes at the moment. Uh -huh. It is pretty unbearable here. And, and because we're in the UK and normally it rains and it's cold all the time, we don't really have any, you know, we don't yeah. have aircon, we don't have any of the, uh, yeah. what we need to get us through it. So, yeah, it's um, it's tough, but I don't want to complain because it actually has been a lovely summer as well. Well, and I'm going to say, everybody, if you're anywhere in the neck of the woods or you go, hmm, what am I going to do this weekend? And you're just seeing this for the first time and you're over there, get in your car and go. I just went to the Palace of Legion of Honor in San Francisco to see the work of Gua Pai. She's a, a garment designer, garments, a structural designer that you can put on your body. And they did the same thing. You had to pick your time, you know, so that it wasn't too all this. Um, and it's one of those things where... If you miss it and you have the opportunity to go, it, that's too bad because, man. It's only once. It's only exactly. once. Exactly. Once a year. And also the NEC does have air con. So if you want to oh. escape the heat, it's a great place to do it. You know, Anna, I was going to ask that. And I thought, no, because if you say no, they're going. Yeah. No, well, they do. Good. Thank you so much. And good luck. And I can't wait to see the um, fruits of your efforts. I know it's a big job. Thank you so much for your support. And uh, perhaps we'll see you there next year. Bye-bye. Yeah. Thank, thank you. Didn't that sound great? Now, here's the thing, people, is that we recorded this last Thursday. So I want to be very clear that it is this weekend, today, Wednesday, um, the 17th. I think that's the day I said it was. Uh, the, the quilts are being judged right now. Very exciting. And um, I would go. I would go big time. Uh, I love it too when I see people like, you know, Michael Cummings and Claudia File, and they've been on the show. And speaking of taping, which is what we're heading into right now, we have a bunch of people from um, 
other countries. We have, you know, had to put off like with the COVID, like what Anna was saying, where we couldn't, people couldn't fly here, people couldn't this. It is so internationally stacked this time in taping. I can't wait. So make sure that, you know, you remember that you pay your 49 bucks and get on board. Oh, also when you pay your 49 bucks and get on board, you get a 25% off shopping spree in the store as a thank you from us. Okay. So what time is it right now? What am I doing? We are driving to the hotel room. I have someone to stay with Heidi, which is wonderful. Um, that poor thing in her onesie. I mean, dignity is everything. It's like when I put her necklace on with a bell, she went out of her mind. Um, yeah, she's asleep now underneath me. I mean, I just feel so bad for her, but I'd feel worse if her little tummy got infected. In fact, I'm supposed to check it out this morning. So um, I will see you when we get back from taping, and we'll be starting on the improv class. Yay! And I think Kristen has something up her sleeve for a taping special in the store. So Suzanne and Kristen, I don't know what you guys have figured out, but you always take such good care of us, you. So um, have a good week or so. <laughs> I don't even know how to end this thing. And again, Anna Batiste is just adorable. It is this weekend, right? I think she, yeah, this weekend. Judging today. I can't wait to see. And you'll be able to see on thequiltshow.com too. Have a good one. Bye bye.